Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is about the NARS and Ardem collection. It's called Strange Flowers and I'm in love. It is such a beautiful collection. I can't wait to show you guys what I got, the pieces that I got from the collection and share with you my thoughts. Um, I'm also going to show you a demo of this look that I did. I'm also gonna have some clips of me using some of the other products cause I just, I couldn't demo all of it. <laughs> because we only have one face. So anyway, if you're interested in any of this, then just keep on watching. So NARS and Ardem have collabed. Ardem is a fashion designer that I happen to really adore. So when I heard that they were collabing, I was very, very excited. Um, I ran to the NARS boutique at the Caesars Forum shops on the first day they got them, which was last Thursday, I believe. So yeah, I called the boutique and I was like, did you get the collection? And they're like, we are unboxing it now. I was like, I'll be right there. So I rushed in store and picked out what I wanted. So this is a 13 piece collection. I got eight out of the 13 pieces. So I purchased the two eyeshadow palettes, the two blushes, the multi-use highlighting pencil, and three out of the six lipsticks. Two pieces from the collection are co like completely new to the NARS line. One is the blotting papers, and I didn't pick that up because I never ever need to use blotting papers. I have very dry skin. And the other one was a lip palette, also completely new to the NARS line. They've never actually had a lip palette. I was so tempted to get it, but I just I just knew I was never going to use it. So the lip palette was comprised of one um, kind of base product, like a cream product, and then it had a whole bunch of different colors of powders that you, you know, are supposed to kind of put on top. You can mix and match and play and layer and do things like that. I just know I'm not going to use that, so I didn't pick it up, but I was bummed that I wasn't getting like the two new things to the NARS line, the lip palette and the blotting papers. So I apologize. If that's what you were um, interested in, I'm sorry, I won't be covering those two things, but I will be covering everything else. I was really, really excited for the blushes and the eyeshadows, and then when I realized that the lipsticks were like a sheer balmy lipstick, I got really excited for that, because that's that's really my jam. So. so let's dive right in. I'm looking at all the stuff here, and I'm just trying to figure out where to start. Well, let me start with this. How pretty is this bag? So this was the kind of special edition shopping bag that NARS was handing out at the boutiques. Um, this is one of the unique flower floral prints that that Erdem came up with for this collection. The packaging is absolutely amazing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my stories on it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. All of my social media handles are down below in the description box, but I'm starting to kind of pick up steam on my Insta stories and I'm doing unboxings and swatches and things like that. So I did a whole unboxing and swatching of this collection there. So you guys knew this video was coming, um, but just to show you, here is an example of one of the eyeshadow boxes. Here's the other one. Aren't they so pretty? And then here is like the packaging, the outside packaging of these eyeshadow palettes. So it has the same kind of soft touch feeling as uh, the rest of the NARS line, but this uh, line, obviously it has like a light gray color to it. Uh, here is one of the lipsticks. It has the Erdem name in gold. It's just a really beautifully packaged um, collection. And then even inside the box, the interior of the box has the floral print, the inlay of the shadows and the blush, you know, that the plastic inlay, this also has the floral print on it. They just, they really thought of everything and it's, it's really beautiful. I think it's a really well thought out uh, collection. I think what I love most about it too is that it seems to be ringing very, very true to Erdem, the, the designer. He has a lot of, obviously a lot of floral prints, um, but they're not, um, they're not like the typical really pretty kind of like Sunday brunch floral print. I love them because they always seem to have a little bit of like gravitas to them. They always seem to evoke like this Victorian uh, romantic kind of uh, floral print in, in a dark way and that is probably my most favorite aesthetic like I would I would describe my style as goth but not the goth that we know today not like pierced and tattooed and um, you know black eyeliner and black nail polish and that sort of thing I like the goth that's like very Victorian England based I feel like I would be that woman in the like black lace dress like who's constantly mourning for who knows what, but that that would be me. That's like sort of my aesthetic. So anyway, so the designer and the collection really, really spoke to me and you can really, really see that in the pieces. So the eyeshadows are very um, mysterious and very, very deep. So let's start there. This one is the Fleur Fatale and this is the more, I don't know, I would say neutral everyday palette. 
It's really, really beautiful. There's six shadows. Uh, five of them are shimmer, one is matte. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. So I'm just gonna go across uh, the top here. Uh, the shade names are on the back. So this one is Mythos, this one is Thistle, and then this one is Flourish. And then we have Belladonna, Daydream, and Hollyhock. These shadows are beautiful. I think the shimmers and the matte, they're all really, really beautiful. They remind me of the NARS Loaded Palette. It has the same quality, the same feel, the same kind of pigmentation. They behave similarly. And I just, I had a lot of fun using this palette. I'm just gonna kind of insert some footage here of me actually using this eyeshadow palette. I'm starting with Belladonna, which is the matte taupey shade in the palette, and I'm using a fluffy blending brush and working that into my outer V crease area, just warming up the area and getting it started for the other shades. Next I'm going in with an even larger blending brush, and I'm using the shimmery shade Thistle and putting that all over the lid. And now I'm using the silvery, kind of shimmery blue shade called Flourish, and again working that over the matte brown Belladonna shade. Now I'm going in with the shade Hollyhock, which is the metallic red, and I'm just using a flat shader to place that color on the outer half of my lid. Now I'm using a, another flat shader brush and going into Mythos, putting that on the brow bone. And now I'm using the multi-use highlighting stick on the corner of my eyes, and then some Tom Ford Eye Cole Intense in Midnight, and using that on my waterline, and also tight lining with that as well. So I loved um, using this uh, eyeshadow palette. It's a subtle palette. You know, if you look at this, you think, okay, you know, it's got some, it's got a little bit of color there, but it's generally pretty subtle, but it's so beautiful. And you can do a lot just with these four colors. You can really get a really beautiful everyday look, and then you can make it a little bit more mysterious with either of these. I used both because I was trying to you know, incorporate all of the colors um, into my eye look, but I probably wouldn't do that normally. I would probably uh, go in with uh, these two and one of these and then one of these and just call it a day. So I really, really liked this eyeshadow palette. I think it just performs beautifully. Next, this is the other eyeshadow palette in the collection. This is the Night Garden palette. And this one is uh, much more dramatic, much darker. These shades down here are incredibly saturated. They're all incredibly saturated, but these are so dark that I had, you know, a hard time trying to incorporate all of these shadows into a look. And this is actually the second look that I'm doing for this video because the first one I did, I kind of, like I said, I tried to incorporate a bunch of them and it just, it just got to be too much. It was like, you couldn't see the difference between them and it just didn't really work out. So this shadow, I would say, would fit perfectly into your collection if you need like darks to kind of smoke out a look. It has basically every dark color you would use to smoke out a look. It has matte dark brown, it has um, a super dark navy blue, it has a black, these two are shimmers, and it has a super dark green, which is also a shimmer. And it's just beautiful. So what I ended up doing with um, this eye look was I put the uh, matte brown down and then I just used this blue to just smoke out this eye look and just keep it simple. I was like, I am not gonna incorporate all of these shadows into the look. Um, and then I also used this like on my inner corner. So let me go ahead and swatch this palette for you. I'm gonna start at the top here. This is Oleander, Indio, and Reborn. And I wasn't gonna get this eyeshadow palette at first because of that Reborn color, that yellow color. I thought, I am never gonna use that. But when I swatched it, I realized that it really is, I mean, it's yellow, but it's really just a beautiful gold because of that shimmer in there. If it was a matte, I probably would have passed on this palette. But because it's a shimmer and it looks more like a gold, I was like, I'll take it. And then we have Fauna, Sprung, and Matera. Look at that blue. 
I love it. So what I think I like the most about the NARS formula, especially when it comes to these darker shades, is that they are a little bit on the drier side, so you can get a nice, very light wash. Like they're not these hyper pigmented, creamy shadows that right when you go in, you have like this kind of like this solid layer of shadow. You can work them in a very, very sheer way. These two colors and the green colors, so the Indio, the Sprung, and the Matera. I notice that if I go in with my brush, you know, and I pick up the product, and then I just fling it or I tap it off or whatever, basically all the product comes off. And then I go in and I'm like, I thought I went in. So the shadows are, I mean, they feel creamy, but they actually, when you pick them up, they're actually a little bit powdery. And I love that because you get like a really nice kind of faded, faint kind of smoky look, which again, I think is such a great like Victorian romantic kind of look. And so these shadows work perfectly for that look. I just I just love them. So anyway, because of that, because like if you fling it too hard, all the powder basically comes off. I don't do that. I'll pick up the product and then what I'll do is just sort of tap it like on my arm or on my hand or wherever and just to kind of like work it into the brush a little bit and then you know a little bit of the excess comes off on your arm and then I go in. So that's how I work these shadows. Otherwise I think you're going to be a little bit frustrated. You're going to keep tapping it off and think where the heck did this shadow go? But I think it really works for these for these shadows because they're so dark. Again, that's what I have on my eyes. We'll have a demo at the end of this video with that. So those are the two eyeshadow palettes. Let's talk about the blushes. So two blushes are part of this collection. Uh, loves Me and Loves Me Not. So the Loves Me is a darker, uh, brighter, kind of peachy shade and it has like a very subtle gold sheen to it. It's what I have on my cheeks today and you'll see it in the demo, but I really wanted to concentrate it kind of like on the on the balls of my cheeks. Again, it kind of reminds me of those like Victorian porcelain dolls where they have like a very, very prominent kind of like rouge action going on right on the cheekbones, right on the apples of the cheeks. So I really wanted to um, emulate that in a way and this color is just perfect for it. So let me swatch it and this is just like a NARS blush beautifully pigmented, they blend very, very nicely, and they have that beautiful sheen. So this is Loves Me. So there is Loves Me, and I don't think I showed you guys the packaging, but here is the light gray packaging with the Ardem name down the side there. And then the other blush is Loves Me Not, and this color is much, much lighter. It's much cooler. There's almost like almost a lavender kind of hint to it. It really is just a very light pink, but I feel like in some lights it looks almost lavender. That's how cool it is. So uh, let me give you a swatch of this. That's it right there. You can barely see it and it really is just for fair light skinned folk. But here I'm gonna show you some footage of me applying this blush because this blush I was worried was not gonna show up on my skin, but it actually turned out really, really nicely. Um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a look to my story uh, where I had uh, this look on, the one with the other eyeshadow palette and this blush. And it, it's, it's just beautiful. It just, it's very subtle. With this color, I just kind of put it all over my cheekbone. I didn't really concentrate it anywhere. And it's beautiful. It's just this really, really beautiful, like, like light to the skin. There's more impact with this blush than I thought on my skin tone. So really, really happy with this. I think that this color is more pigmented than you think. And then I probably should have mentioned this with the eyeshadows, but I also picked up the multi-use highlighting pencil. Uh, comes in this box and here is what the pencil looks like. It looks like one of the NARS like lip pencils basically but again with the gray packaging and then it's got this great um, like iridescent bottom because uh, this is color White Fox and well I use it on my waterline so it looks a little bit dirty because I got shadow on it but this is what the pencil looks like just ignore the black smudges but it is so much fun because it's like a purpley pinky iridescent color. Can you see that? hope you can see that. But it's so pretty. I have it in my waterline, um, so you'll see me use it in the demo, but I'm also going to show you some footage now where I use it on my inner corner with that other um, Fleur Fatale eyeshadow palette. And 
it's just great. I mean, it, it really is multi-use. And if you're into iridescent highlighter, you could definitely draw some of this onto your cheeks and kind of just spread it out a little bit. The texture of this is creamier than the multiple sticks. The multiples are more powdery. I love the effect that it gives, like the waterline. So this is this is just a lot of fun. I'm glad I picked this up. So I also picked up three out of the six lipsticks, and I wasn't even planning on picking up three. I was only planning on picking up maybe one, maybe two. I really wasn't into them until I realized that they were like a sheer balmy formula, and then I got really, really excited. So let's start with Voodoo Lily. This is a really beautiful, cool toned, kind of lavender, almost like a grige kind of color. Here it is, swatched. You can see how kind of sheer and balmy it is. And I'm going to show you some footage of me actually applying this because this is what I wore with the um, other eyeshadow palette, the Fleur Fatale palette. So that is Voodoo Lily. Uh, next we have Moon Orchid, and this one is a little bit more uh, pink. It's not quite as cool as the Voodoo Lily. Well, it's pretty cool, but it is uh, very pink. Now this is Moon Orchid Swatched. Oh my god, aren't those so pretty? I just love them. And then last but not least is Carnal Carnation, and that's what I actually have on my lips at the moment. So they have two bright reds in the family. This one I think is the more cool toned. So this one has like the most um, blue in it. And I just like this for a sheer bomb because it really gives you that kind of like popsicle look. So those are all the products I got. I kind of, I gave you my thoughts as we went along. So you know how much I love it, but I just think it's such a beautiful collection. And I think it's different from a lot of the collaborations that we've been seeing from, you know, all kinds of companies. I really like how this was with a fashion designer and that you could see the influence that the designer had with the colors and the formula and the, you know, and the story basically of this entire collection. So I really, really enjoy it. And I just, I love the quality of the products as well. I'm, I'm a big fan of NARS. So anyway, if you would like to see a demo of this look, then just keep on watching. So I am going to kind of loosely follow this picture. I don't know if you guys can see it, the reflection is bad, but um, it's the model that's basically on a lot of the PR for this uh, collaboration. And it's just a really soft, smoky eye. So what I'm gonna do is start with a very, very fluffy brush. I'm gonna use this Wayne Goss number 16 brush. I think this is like the fluffiest blending brush that I have. And I'm gonna go into this um, dark matte brown shade and the color is called Fauna. And I'm gonna start to deepen up the crease here very, very lightly. It's looking pretty messy on my lid, but I don't care too much. I'm gonna cover that up with some other dark colors. So I just wanna make sure that this top edge is blended out nicely and it looks diffused. And then I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford blending brush. This is the number 13, and I'm gonna go into the uh, blue metallic shade, which is Sprung. And I'm just gonna go over my entire lid with this. Next I'm going to take the Sonia G Smudger 1 brush and I'm going to go back into this uh, sprung color, this deep navy color, and I'm going to smudge that along my upper lash line and do the same to my lower lash line. Next I'm going to take my Sonia G Pencil 2 brush, I'm going to go into this metallic taupe shade which is called Oleander. and. I'm going to pop that on my inner corners here. And then next I'm going to take the um, multi-use highlighting pencil and I'm going to line my waterline with it. I'm just going to go back in with this pencil to brush and just bring that color along the in, inner portion of my upper lid and lower lid here. And that's it for the eyes. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys out and we'll do like blush and lips. So in that other look, I used the Loves Me Not blush. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the Loves Me blush and that's the brighter 
punchier pinky color. I'm gonna go in very lightly with this color. Wow, that was just one. <laughs> Let's get some of that off. Yeah. I'm placing it a little bit closer to uh, the center of my face because, I don't know, I feel like when I think of a Victorian kind of look, they always have like very rosy cheeks. And then, since again I'm trying to stay true to this sort of romantic Victorian look, I'm not going to do any kind of bronzer or contour. Um, or highlight. Um, I'm just going to go in with the uh, lipstick in Carnal Carnation. This is the one that is a uh, very cool tone red. So I was just checking out my entire look in the mirror and I think I actually want to put mascara on today. You guys know I don't do that often. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and then I'll be back to put on mascara. So I'll be right back. All right, I just grabbed my um, Tom Ford Extreme Mascara. I'm gonna throw some of that on. So I hope you like this final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't, I would love that. And I'll see you in my next video.